please keep it going for Navy veteran Mr. Brian Steck Schulte. I nailed it. All right, thanks, Michael. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but uh, 2017 was a pretty great year for me. Um, so I accomplished a lot after I got out of the Navy. Um, I got my first regular job, I bought my first house, and I got my first divorce. Yeah, yeah. 2017 was a real marquee year for me. Um, but weddings are weird though, right? Like, uh, everyone's there, so full of joy and happiness and excitement for the future. But about 50% of marriages end in divorce. Um, so statistically speaking, wouldn't you expect a few more people to be a little more skeptical at the ceremony? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, despite all the optimism, right, there's always one doubter in the crowd. It's typically that crusty old aunt. She's been divorced two or three times herself. Uh, she's a little hard of hearing, so she can't whisper effectively. Uh, she, she leans over to that random guest next to her. I give it 18 months. <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah, there's always at least one doubter, and uh, my wedding was no different. It was the bride. <laughs> um, but from now on, right, I'm going to be that one doubter at every uh, wedding I go to. You know, and I'll say it out loud. I won't care who hears me. Uh, sure, I'm going to sound like a jerk. But I'm going to be right half the time. <laughs> You know, so just imagine that one of those couples actually gets a divorce, right? All those people that heard me, they'll be thinking to themselves, you know, what did Brian know that we didn't? <laughs> now we think to myself, uh, math. <laughs> uh, yeah, so weddings are expensive too. Uh, did you know the average wedding cost over $35,000? Yeah, so knowing that like half of them will end in divorce, can you think of any other scenario where it's acceptable to bet that kind of money on a coin flip? <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> Vegas is the only other place where that sort of high stakes gambling is acceptable. That's like taking all $35,000 of your chips, walking over to the roulette wheel, and dropping them on red. <laughs> You know, but there are some differences uh, between casino roulette and marriage roulette. Uh, so, so if you lose a casino roulette, you can cut your losses and move on immediately. Uh, if you lose a marriage roulette, it takes about a decade. Uh, and you still have to pretend like things are normal in front of your parents. Um, winning's a little bit different too. Right, you win at the casino, they'll put you in the high roller suite, uh, all the free champagne you can drink, and probably front row tickets to Celine Dion. Um, but if you're lucky enough to win at Marriage Roulette, you get the small townhouse with the leaky roof, landscaping duty on every nice weekend, and uh, a whole set of in-laws you don't even like. So I'm single now. But being single has its upsides though, right? Like when I was married, I had to compromise all the time. Uh, now I just have to compromise with myself. Respect. <laughs> have you ever eaten an entire bag of beef jerky for dinner? Uh, uh, so my married friends, you tell me, oh, you're single, that's great. You can, you can do anything you want now. Uh, but that's not the best thing. The best thing about being single is literally not doing anything you want. For example, uh, I'm not really, I'm not doing dishes anymore. <laughs> My fine china consists of uh, paper plates and plastic spoons. Uh, I'm not folding laundry anymore. Now I just have a clean pile. <laughs> it's right next to the dirty pile. <laughs> you know, and... And I'm not really wearing pants when I get home from work these days. Uh, which explains why I got so many dirty looks at the grocery store last night. Um, 
So I'm also having trouble dating. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's pretty hard getting back into dating when you're in your 30s. Um, and you know what it takes for a guy like me these days to find a date? No, really, I'm asking. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. You know, the last time I was single and trying to find dates, uh, there were no dating apps. Everyone had flip phones. Uh, and you still had to ask a girl for a number in person. At least that's what I've been told. I, I had no clue back then either. <laughs> um, but you know, so I got this, this whole math thing still gone for me. So, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, dating's really just a numbers game. Um, that's why I'm really looking forward to wedding season. Because half those brides are going to be single again soon. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much.